Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to the news update here on Buzzing Patea. And uh, what a week we've had. Been very busy lately. I've got to say there's a considerably noticeable increase in the amount of people that are here. Uh, it's good to see actually. Traffic wise, uh, yeah, it's carnage out there. It really is very, very gridlocked uh, quite a lot of the time. Particularly around the mornings when obviously the children are going to school, it's very busy then. But likewise, late in the afternoon, three, four o'clock, five o'clock, uh, if you are uh, expected to use a bolt taxi or a motorbike taxi or even the BART bus, uh, please be very, very aware, guys, uh, that the traffic is considerably bad. However, having said that, it's a good sign because it means there's lots of you out here, so which is, uh, you know, which is a nice thing and desperately needed. So what's been going on? Um, in the news here, it says here that the uh, road surface upgrades underway in North Patea. I've got to say the timing probably could have been a little bit better, if I'm being honest. Um, you know, obviously in the heat, in the, in the heart of what is now our, our uh, high season, uh, to dig all the roads up is a little bit frustrating because it's just adding to the problem of the, the increase in the amount of traffic that's around. Uh, it says here the Sukhumit Road North Patea intersection is currently undergoing a comprehensive road service improvement project in a bid to enhance the overall traffic experience for residents. Um, you know, driving out here, I say it many, many times, guys, and please, you know, if there's nothing else you take away from the video, please take away the fact that you should try not to drive, particularly on a motorbike if you're out here on a holiday. You know, the, the road conditions out here are very, very uh, demanding and uh, very testing, and the, the other riders on the road, you know, sometimes they'll do things that perhaps you wouldn't expect. So if you can, use the Bolt Taxi. Uh, they're very good. If you haven't used Bolt before, it's a really good, cool app. You just literally download it on your phone. It will tell the rider, be it a motorbike taxi or a car, you can pick which one you want, and it will tell them exactly where you are, and you can tell them exactly where you want to go to, which means that you over, uh, override any language barriers that you may or may not have. So the nice thing is, is that uh, you know, we are looking at improving stuff. Down on Beach Road at the moment, there's still the path, the Beach Road itself, the pathway, they're still working on that part of it is uh, quite demanding some of it so you know again watch your foot in i don't want you to uh, have an accident and when you are here be very careful guys when you're walking around look at the, the pavement in front of you i've, I've done it myself you know, i'm sure many of you guys have you know you walk around you're chatting to your mate or to, to whoever you're not really paying attention to the pathway you think it's going to be a level nice uh, simple pathway like you're used to back home and suddenly bang and there's also you know they put these concrete posts uh, on the floor with four iron spikes sticking out and they put like uh, plastic bottles over the top to protect you which really isn't going to do a great deal particularly if you fall on it but anyway be very very careful guys uh you know some of the things that are happening here obviously you know there's guys here that, that maybe are drinking a bit too much but it says here two foreign tourists arrested on Patea beach for refusing to pay for a beach chair and the reason i want to talk about this is there's a couple of things number one is you know You've got to pay, guys. It's as simple as that. If you sit down, you've got to pay. You know, it's 50 baht to 100 baht, something like that. The, you know, the, normally the chairs are 50 baht. The sun beds are normally 100 baht. And even if you just want to sit down and just have a chat for 10 minutes, you're going to have to pay. You know, these guys, it's how they earn their money. One of the things that isn't really publicly known about and can sometimes, not always, but can sometimes cause a little bit of an issue is if you want to lay down on the, on the, uh, on the sand in front of the vendor's area. Um, they will often come up and ask you to move and say, no, you can't, you can't lay down here, you've got to go away, because what they want you to do is to use the chairs. It says here, Patea municipality officers reported on their social media channel that an incident took place on January 18th in which two unidentified foreign tourists were arrested for violating the property of an umbrella and beach bed operator. According to witnesses, the two men, one was shirtless and described as aggressive and uncooperative, had reportedly tried to sit down on beach chairs and immediately been informed by those of the beach bed area that the chairs were a paid service and that the men needed to pay to use them. It's not rocket science, you know, that's, that's just standard, guys. You know, that's how they earn their money. And the thing is, as well, is, you know, the Thai people would be very, very quick in calling the police like they did here. Then this guy's, you know, he, one of them tried to run off, uh, it says in the, in the uh, update here. Uh, and consequently, they were arrested and taken down to the police station. And for what? For 50 baht. For 50 baht. You know, <laughs> crazy, really. But just be aware, guys, if you are here and you are uh, going to use the, the vendors, you know, they will charge you 50 baht or 100 baht for the sunbeds. Uh, and if you want to lay down on the sand, please try and lay down in between the vendors rather than in front of them. Because if you do lay down in front, don't be surprised if a couple of them come up to you and say, sorry, fella, you need to move on. So just be aware of that. And talking about sunbathing. Uh, you know, so it says here, foreign tourists sunbathing on Chiang Mai temple premises spark outrage among, among local residents. Now, I know this is up in Chiang Mai, so you're thinking, Trevor, why are you talking about it? It's not in Pattaya. However, having said that, it's quite relevant. 
when you go to any of the uh, religious temples and, the, and the, you know, these kind of places, you've got to be very respectful. You've got to wear uh, clothing. You can't go in there in a vest and stuff like that. You know, you've got to wear uh, appropriate clothing. Well, I saw once, I was riding around, I was over on the, um, back down here, I was going over towards Big Buddha Mountains on my push bike doing my cycling. And uh, I saw two guys in a temple just over by the, um, uh, what do you call it, the uh, Nong Nuk, the, the big uh, tropical park. And the, the two guys had climbed on top of the Buddha statue and were posing for a photo. You know, be very, very careful, guys. These kind of situations can quickly escalate and get you into a lot of trouble. And what happened with these two girls is they were sunbathing. Uh, it says, concerns have been raised about the behavior of two foreign tourists at a Wat Chiang Man, a revered Buddhist temple in Chiang Mai, after they were observed sunbathing on the temple's premises on Sunday the 24th. And, you know, one thing that you've got to be very, very aware of out here is Thai people are very, very uh, religious. They're very respectful to Buddha's uh, statues and stuff like that. So, you know, when you go in, make sure you are dressed appropriately and don't, you know, don't climb on the statues and stuff like that. You really are asking for trouble. It's very, very disrespectful. And likewise, if you do go in, you know, don't lay down and start, you know, partying and stuff like that. It's just not how it's done. You know, go in there, see, the temples are beautiful. You know, this year, I do plan to go off a lot more and go and bring some more stuff to the channel for you, different things. Um, you know, well, that diversity fine, that's some of the things I want to do. So I will bring to you stuff like, I say, like different temples and different places of interest that you want to go to. But when you do go to these guys' places, uh, to these places, guys, please, you know, just bear in mind uh, the surroundings that you're in and uh, dress accordingly and act appropriately. Right. So what's going on? Uh, the Pattaya Music Festival has been announced uh, 2020 to take place in March. Uh, this is something that's going to happen. It says here, get ready for the Pattaya Music Festival. Pattaya is set to host the much-anticipated Pattaya Music Festival 2024 throughout the month of March. The festival promises to be a spectacular celebration of music, entertainment, and cultural richness. Uh, the music festival will take place every Friday to Sunday, starting from March the 8th onwards. Details and the lineup will be announced soon by the city. And that's great news. You know, the one thing I've noticed out here is a lot more people here now. And these festivals, you know, they are attended very heavily by uh, people from uh, Rayong and also Bangkok. A lot of Thai people come down here and, and join in. So it will be very, very busy. So be aware of that, guys. That is going to be a noticeable increase in the amount of people that will be around here. So again, you know, just be prepared. Likewise with the traffic, you know, certainly over Saturday and Sunday, you know, the traffic here sometimes is a gridlock and it'll be a gridlock for, for a long, long time. So, you know, if you're out here on holiday, you're in a taxi, uh, or you're on the back of a motorbike, expect delays, particularly if you're coming out here in March, you know, you're going to expect some serious delays. And of course, there's nothing worse than being sat on a bar bus in the heat and you're in a, in a traffic jam because uh, it will just be like an oven. So just be prepared, guys. But it'll be good. It'll be nice to see what goes on. It'll be nice to see who comes in and what, what music they produce and what uh, events they hold. Uh, normally, these things are really, really good. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this one will be a one that's definitely one not to miss. But be aware, guys, that starts on the 8th of March and it'll be every weekend right the way throughout the whole of March. Now, more recently, uh, tomorrow, uh, get yourself down where Angels Play in Soy 6 uh, is Moore's birthday. I was down Soy 6 the other day. Uh, there's an interview coming onto the channel soon from Love 66. I went and interviewed a guy called Red. He's the owner. He's a really nice guy. So watch this space. That'll be coming out soon. Um, but I've got to say, Soy 6 right now, I've been down there a couple of times recently. It is very, very busy. And it's good to see. It's kind of like how it used to be before COVID. It's very, very busy. Hundreds of girls, you know, you really are in a, in a world of uh, entertainment there, if that's your thing. And the bars, you know, they're busy, busy, busy. So, uh, yeah, if you want to go down there on Tuesday, Tuesday starting at 3 o'clock, it's Moore's birthday uh, at Where Angels Play down in Soy 6. So go down there, guys, and, and uh, support her. And while you're down there, have a wander around. You know, it's, it's really, uh, it's a good area, good area. And, of course, where you are from Soy 6, you know, walk up, up to Padia Clang. Then you've got uh, Soy 7 and Soy 8. That's right on your doorstep there. Lots of bars in and around that area. So go and have a look across that area there. It's, it's, you know, again, it's, it's busy. Pop up and go and see uh, Nick. Go and see Nick Dean uh, up in his bars there at the top. Uh, go into Shooters Bar as well. Go and see John in Shooters. Shooters is a really nice bar. I like it in there. Uh, but yeah, so some good areas there, guys. So pop in and uh, go and have a look and go and say hello to Moo on her birthday. So, uh, 26th Friday. Friday is Australia Day. Now, uh, I don't know what the, the uh, basis of Australia Day is, so I'm gonna to be totally honest with you guys. I'm not gonna try and make out, I know something I know nothing about. Uh, but Australia Day here in heaven above. Now, if you go and see Greg and Bob, they're really nice guys. Uh, go in there and see them. It's uh, Australia Day, 
starts at six o'clock in Heavens Above. Now, Heavens Above, if you're not sure where that is, it's in Soy Boomerang. And to get to Soy Boomerang, literally, if you're on Soy Bacow, which is the which is the long road that uh, connects um, South Potato Road to Central Potato Road, uh, if you go down Soy Bacow, go to the Potato Hospital uh, the, in, in the Bacow there, and where you are, look on the right side, you'll see Playgirls. As you see Playgirls, go up Playgirls through there, and on the left hand side, just before the bend, you'll see Heavens Above. Go in there, guys. Uh, it says here that uh, join us in Heaven Above. For one of our biggest events of the year, Australia Day, there'll be plenty of Aussie Tucker and everyone's favourite Aussie tunes. The beers will be ice cold and the Sheilas will be red hot. I don't know. Why do... Right, here's a question, guys. Help me out. Why do Australians call women Sheilas? I don't know that. So help me out, guys. Uh, just out of interest, really, that's all I'm asking for is why do you call a woman a Sheila? Don't know that one. That's quite strange. But anyway, uh, but nevertheless, go in there, guys. I promise you, uh, heaven above it. Greg's a lovely guy. They've got a great selection of girls. There probably must be 40, 50 girls working in there. It's a busy environment. It's a nice open bar, open big bar behind closed doors, and uh, definitely well worth a visit. And obviously, if you're an Australian guy and you want to go and celebrate Australia Day, there you go. There's your venue. Pop in, go and say hello to Greg, and have a fantastic time. I'm sure you will. Uh, now, Saturday the 27th, uh, RAM, pro present by Concept and Innovation at Escape in Tree Town, Potter. So if you're not aware now, Escape, I know we've gone like through uh, a sports bar into a, a go-go bar. Uh, now it's back into its, its original form as a nightclub. It's an amazing, amazing nightclub. I mean, the sound system in there, what, the money that Stephen spent on the sound system is phenomenal. But if you are into your, uh, into your music, then uh, go there on Saturday the 27th. Starts at 10 o'clock at night which is nearly my bedtime, but starts at 10 o'clock at night, guys, and uh, go in there, uh, RAM present by Concept and Innovation. I'm not into this kind of music, so I can't give you any any information on it. I really don't know. It's not my thing. I, I like my ACDC, as you know, uh, but if you are in the area, you know, Tree Town's a good area. Tree Town's a good, a good area to have a wander around, see what's going on. There's lots of bars, lots of uh, stuff to see and do. There's a great food court in the middle, so if you're not sure where Tree Town is, again, that's on the Soybacow joining road. Head from the buzzing bar, go down to the soy bacow, turn right, head up there, and you'll see Tree Town on your left hand side, and go into Tree Town, and there you will see Escape. But as I say, you know, the sound system and the lighting system in there is phenomenal, so uh, check that one out. And just looking further ahead at the moment, there's not really a huge amount of events to, sh to share with you today, uh, but looking forward, uh, Monday on the 12th of February, you got the Super Bowl. Someone that's jumped in front straight away to, to publicize it uh, is Danny's, Danny's Sports Bar. Go in there and see Danny. Uh, he's in Tree Town on the corner, just past Escape. And uh, go in there, he's going to do the Super Bowl. So I imagine that'll be rammed solid and will be a really good event if that's your thing. But like I say, unfortunately today, I'm a bit low on the ground, guys. It doesn't seem to be a great deal happening. So if you are in touch with people, uh, you do know other bar owners or you know people that host events, please you know, send me an email, guys, 247 at gmail.com. Let me know so I can share it and shout it out. Unfortunately, there's not a lot that I can talk about. Don't forget, coming up uh, today, we've got our meetup, our buzzing meetup here at the Buzzing Lounge at 3 o'clock. And again, we have that on Friday. Uh, Friday, that is uh, again here at the Buzzing Lounge. Tuesdays, we've got the uh, Cat Flaps. And Thursday, we've got Maggie Mays. So there's four uh, bars, uh, sort of four meetups there you go where we'll take you around different bars and show you what's going on. So if you are in the area and you're looking for something to do, come and join us on there. And don't forget we've got our pool party. Our pool party is coming up on the last Tuesday of the month. So be aware of that, guys, the pool party. There are tickets available. Come into the buzzing lounge, grab yourself a chair, and uh, there you go. You'll be booked in for that. And it's good fun. I promise you it's good fun. Right, that's it for today. Uh, a bit, like I say, a bit, bit weak on this one, I'm afraid. Uh, but if you do know stuff that's going, please, guys, drop me an email, let me know, and we'll publicise it. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please, as always, remember, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Have a look on our Discord channel. We do put as many events on there as we can, so it's up-to-date stuff and get people to share information. So have a look on Discord. Check out Instagram and TikTok. They are going from strength to strength now. They really are gaining momentum. We're putting lots of videos. We've just got a new member of staff join us and their sole purpose is to go out every single day and bring up-to-date videos of what's going on here right, right at the very second. So it's an instantaneous, let's have a look at what's going on in this soy, this soy, this soy, all happening there, guys. So please have a look on TikTok and Instagram and jump on and join us. And if you'd like to support the channel, you know, there's a link to our members area on buzzingpotato.com and your support is much appreciated. I am going to be off traveling. I'm going to bring some very different content to the channel very, very soon. So uh, your support is much appreciated. It helps me deliver different content like what I'm talking about now. Okay, thank you very much for watching, guys. And please, as always, wherever you are in the world, 
stay safe.